Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of City Skylines. I'm so sorry for the huge delay but I had to make this separate challenge run in City Skylines that was actually really fun making a million weekly income. Absolutely phenomenal. If you haven't seen that yet I highly recommend you to watch the last City Skylines video. However, now we are continuing in this city, which slowly but surely gets out of control. Now, you gave me a couple of suggestions on how to improve things, and one of them I would like to try out today. So we are gonna dive into the traffic manager mod a little bit in order to restrict certain areas for private cars. Now, first things first, I might want to check out what's going wrong here. Too much garbage. Oh no. Can we not take care of the garbage here? What's happening? Maybe the district isn't properly drawn? Yeah, look at that. Actually, the incineration plant wasn't quite in the district. And of course, that's not gonna work. Now, one tip you gave me is to add another monorail station in this district here on the other side. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna set this up right here, sacrificing a couple of buildings. Actually, that might have been a little bit too close to the high school. Uh, we'll see about that. I'm not gonna need the lower portion for the time being. All I want is to get out of here. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're gonna drag this monorail all the way across the edge of the district. So that's gonna come around here. And then at this point, we need to be able to cross the road, which apparently is possible. Nice. And all I need to do now is connect this right there. Um, let's actually do this a little bit nicer, something like that. I mean, if it was really important to me, I would probably invest some more time in actually making this look beautiful. However, for now, all we care about is dragging this stop over here and then. I need to be able to add these points here. All we have to do is click it and even though it's not showing up yet, I believe it's still working. Yeah, we did have monorail spawning here and if we just wait for the next one, it should still hold. Okay, so that kind of worked, but it's visually not possible to see it. Good, so that means this thing should send out more trucks. Why are there only three trucks? Come on, I want to see more of them. Hmm. Actually, maybe it has something to do with the number here. Yeah, we are at the total limit here in terms of incineration. What about this guy? This is also at the top, but it's sending out a couple more vehicles. I think this way we have it under control. How many people do we have here? 18,000 already. Okay, anyways, uh, let's check our public transport is currently at 4,200 people per week. Let's go ahead and try uh, to find the roads where we have too many private cars still going. For instance, if we just pause here for a little bit, this is not private, not private. These are all company cars. There's one private car, Earl. Uh, no private cars here. No, no, no. What's that? That is a hearse. There is a second and third private car. Okay, well, there are a couple of private cars in this district, so maybe we can use that as a guinea pig. We want to go into Traffic Manager Vehicle Restriction, and the problem now is uh, we kind of, let's see, uh, allow all vehicles. Looks like we have to restrict the vehicles for each of the segments. So what if we just did the segments that are going down in this case, and all we want is private cars not being able to utilize these roads. So uh, that's what we have to disable. Private cars be gone, private cars be gone. Okay, and that hopefully is gonna change dramatically what's happening. I'm gonna do the same thing here on the other side. Private cars be gone, private cars be gone. Okay, and with that out of the way, hopefully that is gonna work out. We have all the people that should either be walking or using the bicycle. I mean, it is somehow working. Another thing I'm curious about, how many of these cars are private? Looks like actually none of them are private. Of course, that makes sense since we have the train station right here. Yeah, the private cars are certainly not one of the bigger problems we currently have. We now actually have a really high demand for industrial and I think I'm gonna compensate that with offices this time around. So what we could go ahead and set up is just a couple of offices here on the outskirts. They should bother no one, give us a great skyline, and also satisfy the industrial need. Yeah, we can see these are being built immediately and some of them are already upgrading like crazy. Wow, that is actually going really quickly. I don't even know why they built a building for a week just to upgrade it then. 
possibly not even a week, might just have been a day. The goal of this episode is primarily to get this region under control, to populate it even more, but also raise the amount of people using public transport. Now, with that new possibility, we already have a couple of people actually using that. That was over, yeah, almost 500 people are already using this station. And this one here, over a thousand people are using this station. Maybe now it is time to have a closer look at some of these stations. I want to make sure that there are not too many people in any given station and they actually get the chance to be picked up here. This could still be a problem for some of these guys. Let's actually see. I mean, some of these are just hanging out there. I don't even know how many there are. It's so weird. They don't seem to be like queuing up. All the people that are waiting here get to go on the train first. Come on, guys. Are you being picked up or not? This is so confusing to me. Let's maybe only focus on one person, like this guy. Okay, he just went away. Now I'm focusing on this guy here. Yeah, he went away as well. Now I'm focusing on this guy that just arrived. And he is still waiting, still waiting. Oh, I need to blink. Oh, okay, he went away. Okay, that is actually good, good stuff. Let's check out this one here. Wow, there are so many people here. <laughs> I just love this hub, man. Actually, how many people do we have in this one? Over a thousand as well. Look at the amount of people just walking about. This is absolute pure insanity. The reason I haven't introduced buses just yet is because I don't have my districts connected via roads. I would have to introduce a bus depot at every district, which of course is way too costly and nonsensical. So either we connect the district or maybe we use something else, rather, maybe taxi stands. But I'm not sure if going with the taxi actually counts as using public transport. It might not add to that number. Man, look at the amount of people just hanging around here. This is definitely one of my most favorite corners in this city. Okay, let's take care of the overall picture. Now, all of these buildings, are you abandoned because of my garbage problem? For instance, you guy, garbage has piled up. Okay, so let's go ahead and just introduce another one of these incineration plants right there. And we might even be as bold as going up with the budget a tiny bit. So we have a faster processing rate. What if we added like 120% budget to this? This would mean we get a... Oh, wait. Ah, of course, that's the capacity. So processing rate should have gone up. Now it's 55,000 a week. I guess uh, liters or kilograms, not sure. In the meantime, we take apart a couple of these buildings and hopefully as of this point, this is not going to happen anymore. We still have a really high demand for industrial. I think I'm gonna exchange a couple of these buildings here with offices as well. This cannot hurt and might even look good. Offices are really suitable for a living area. I'm also gonna do the same thing here on the outside of this road. We're not gonna build anything else right there for the time being. Man, I'm really concerned about the garbage. This is just not adding up the way I would like it to. Uh, we have garbage collection. Hold the phone. Where is my garbage collection? Is this the garbage collection? Yes, indeed. Yeah, this might just be a little too far away. Could I add another side road here, maybe? And do something like that. And then we're gonna add another garbage collection in this point, making sure this is within the district. And also, do you have power? Do you have water? Water is missing. You can get some of that. Okay, hopefully that is gonna help us out. Uh, what are the numbers saying? Four and a half thousand people using public transport. Let's figure out what other problems we have. I mean, how many people are using the tram, for instance? Like we have a tram right here. Let me see the details. Weekly passengers of 315 residents. That doesn't seem like enough. So here we have indeed a couple of people using private cars. Okay, let's get back into traffic manager and restrict the cars for this huge road here. So what we possibly could do at this point is restrict the private cars right here and then apply vehicle restriction to entire road. And you can see that almost worked. So with entire road, it basically means to the next intersection. Can I do that again? No, I have to go ahead and disable this again and then apply vehicle restrictions and it's just gonna go to the next intersection. Better than nothing, at least I don't have to do all the segments. 
You, entire road. Okay, that was a good one. Also right here, you go away. Entire road, you get the basic gist. And there is the last one. Okay, now we basically disabled it for the entirety of the road, which should mean even more people should not be using that tram line. I mean, why the heck would you use a private car if you can use a tram? Well, I would know a couple of reasons, but let's not talk about that. Oh, looks like we're struggling with the water finally. Uh, let's get a water tower in the joint. Uh, maybe not in a spot where we have lots of pollution going on. I think right here could actually be a good thing, though there is a road here. We have to expand this a little bit and I want to set up a water tower right there. This should theoretically suffice, but we also need to take care of the sewage apparently. Water availability is good now. Okay, let's take care of sewage treatment. Currently I have a bunch of eco plants here. I guess we're just gonna continue the line here. I'm gonna set up two more of these bad boys in order to take care of my switch problems. And that was not a metaphor. Okay now, all I can do at this point is maybe zone a bit more offices and just wait for things to develop a little bit. I cannot overwhelm the city by just keeping on expanding. We need to wait for certain intervals of development. But I have to admit, the traffic does look much better now. Of course, we still have heavy traffic when it comes to the train or the cargo stuff. People definitely want to utilize those cargo stations, that's for sure. Okay, now that some time has passed, let's have a look at this line again. 326, so that number did not really increase. You know, sometimes I'm a little bit worried whether or not people are then gonna use the public transport or they are just not going where they're supposed to. Maybe some of them just decide to stay home if I take their car away. But it definitely looks much better in the newest district. Now we also have the possibility to slowly but surely upgrade these all to the maximum level. They might still need a little bit more education and or land value at certain points. Yeah, holy cow, the land value is actually really bad in certain places. You get a bouncy castle, of course, and then maybe a park wouldn't do you the worst of favors. Let's see, we can actually snuggle one in right there. We need even more parks. You get a Japanese garden here in the corner. Thank you. And we could also give you a tropical garden. Why the heck not? They are still not extremely happy, I have to admit. Um, the tropical garden was actually not very good. This doesn't give me much entertainment, apparently. Maybe nothing at all, even. Looks like we could use at least one more thing here. I'm gonna set up another park. Yeah. That definitely helped. This should be enough in order to upgrade everyone. Let's see. People, are you upgrading? Ah, we need to wait for the darn education. What about education? Uh, we could use more elementary schools. I guess this time around we could go with a community school. Gonna set that school up right here. No, maybe not. Slope too steep. Oh my gosh. Let's set it up right here in this corner. And I think we might even have to go with the fourth elementary school here as well. If we have a look around the city, actually mostly everyone is already upgraded. So it's mostly this new district that is struggling at the moment. What about high school, for instance? We should also be good with university, right? We have that university area right here. People should be attending, no problem. But eventually we might want to go with another high school that perfectly fits in here. Two high schools it is for this district. Now, you are complaining about not enough buyers for products, but I think you should theoretically have enough buyers. This might just be a transportation issue. Though, looking closely at everything, the trains are... Uh, actually, they are clogging up. Let's see, is that a permanent problem or are you just queuing up? Yeah, I think most of them are just queuing up and they can actually continue. Oh, yes, we now have the spacing correct here. It looks like crap, but it is better working. But yeah, there's still some work ahead of us if we want to get the public transportation number up to 15,000. That was one of our goals. Right now we are approximately one third there. I feel like we've lost a lot of people due to building the monorail that would otherwise be using other transportation. Um, let me actually check this out. We have approximately 2,000 passengers per week for the metro. There's the tram line that is not very exciting, I have to admit. And then finally the monorail. Yeah, look at that. 2,600 people using that. I mean, technically at this point, all we can do is increase the public transportation utilization for people that are currently walking, right? 
because my problem is not private cars necessarily. We don't have a lot of private cars. I mean, if we check out certain things, uh, well, this road doesn't have any more anyways. We have some private cars going through this district, obviously. It's the purple line, by the way. And now since I removed the private cars here in this district, there is none of them here. There should also be none or not too many of them in this district. So the private cars are really not the problem. The reason my public transportation is still low is because of stuff like this. People are just walking, you know? They are walking like crazy maniacs. So the only reason to actually use public transportation in this city is in order to switch the district which not enough people are doing weekly. But then again, this is a little bit misleading. I mean, one day just passes in a few seconds. And I mean, you know, like uh, one car goes from here to the corner there in one day. So it's no wonder we cannot get the number to extreme heights in terms of public transportation, since every person like only uses one public transportation per week and they are not using like all the different methods they would be using throughout the day. And so the number is a tiny bit misleading. Okay, what else could we do for this episode? I feel like I haven't given you enough. Uh, but, you know, I'm a little bit more in the mood to record City Skylines again. The reason I didn't do it is, uh, once again, because I made the other City Skylines video. But also, I didn't have the time overall. I released much fewer videos the past two weeks because, well, real life stuff, you know. <laughs> well, basically, I've been way too busy. Slowly but surely my changes are taking effect, so we can see lots of buildings are upgrading, which should also result in more people moving in, which only means I'm gonna need even more industry. Now I think we should keep on zoning offices, so I'm just gonna utilize most of my empty space that I currently have in order to introduce those. We can have some more along here, and I actually want to do the same thing here next to my commercial district. So all of these could also be offices. There is some more space. I mean, they barely produce any traffic whatsoever. So this is not a concern of ours. And maybe we can make things look a little bit nicer by putting in a bunch more buildings. We can have also more office buildings along here. That should be fine. I'm gonna fill this part up with office buildings too. Okay, that should have helped. Yes, indeed. Oh, wow. I did not even see that. But low demand for industry and offices right now. That gives me a good feeling. I don't want to take care of the commercial needs just yet. Even though currently our commercial districts are all upgraded to the max. This is actually really good. What do you still need to upgrade, man? You're so close. Educate more citizens. Well, <laughs> educate yourself, man. There's Google and libraries. Well, to be fair, I didn't put in any libraries. But you should all have internet access. Ah, okay, that's what I'm talking about. Weekly change is going up. I would like to see the population raised to maybe 55,000, maybe even more once this district here has developed. I mean, it's upgrading all the time, but honestly, not quickly enough for me. Thank you very much for upgrading. Oh, actually, you are now maximum level. We have a couple of buildings at maximum level already. That is a good indication. Did we take care of the dead people? We have two hearses in the joint or two crematoriums and they are not using all of the hearses. So that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, generally, I'm actually really surprised how few issues we have. It's just this road right here that always causes me some issues with uh, dead people abandoning buildings. Maybe it's too long of a stretch for one district. We also haven't substantially improved the amount of people using public transportation. I wonder if I could artificially bump up the number by making them switch transportation every now and then. I mean, I would assume as soon as one person gets on the monorail, then they count as having used public transportation for once. But if they are still on the public transportation during the next week, it's not gonna count an additional time. However, let's imagine they would be using the monorail to get to here, then use another public transportation in order to get to the next area. Would that count as having used twice in the same week or not? That might be a good question. I feel like if we started this challenge over, I will probably use a map that is more suited for this challenge. So I have like lots of flat space and I can build really gritty districts with uh, main roads in the center for the public transportation. But right now, as it stands, even for this district here, if we just check out the road patterns, it's absolute insanity to send a bus through this. 
yeah, I should probably have focused a little bit less on making things look, uh, you know, acceptable and just go with the more practical grid-like scenarios. And then instead of not connecting the districts, I should just have made the connection of each district very long. So people are tempted to actually use public transportation because it is just much faster. Just like we've done in the previous video where I went to 1 million weekly income, we would wiggle a road all the way around here, making it really long until it connects to this district. This way I wouldn't have all these problems with the services. I would have an easy way to implement buses and trams. Hmm, you know what we could attempt as a last measure is for instance a couple of these cable car stops. I mean we can even run them through a single district, right? So what if we set up a cable car end of the line here and then we do the same thing on this side. Let's find a convenient spot maybe here and then we start to connect these. So for instance that would just go all the way through here. Uh, just imagine you had a cable car on the outside you know just looking out of your house. <laughs> But you know, this could theoretically help. People would then be using this. I would make a little less money for people walking through my park. However, the number of people using public transportation is much more important. Another thing you wanted me to do is add a cable car stop here and all the way up to there. Let's see where we can add that. That's not gonna be convenient anywhere. I guess we would have to drag a road. Uh, can I drag a road beneath here? Not really. Yeah, this is really low. In this case, I'm gonna add it here and we are gonna try to raise that a little bit. So if we just go like so, that should be good. And then we wanna go down here. And now if possible, we just go down there into the industry district. Yes, cable cars are moving up. <laughs> Wonderful. What an absolute crazy cable car line. But it is working out space-wide. We don't have any collisions going on here. And are people using that? Not yet. Let's check the other one. Did that help? Did people use it? Wow, look at that. Okay, that might have helped with my numbers. Yeah, the number is going up. However, it doesn't seem to be updating that frequently. We'll have to keep that under observation. Any takers for this one? Okay, so we also help people using cable cars for this route. We could apply this to a few more areas. Like if people want to go from the industry district here to the commercial area right there, they should now be able to do that. So we want to come down. Um, can we do that in one swoop? Yes, indeed. Okay. I mean, these little things should all help us, right? We didn't place them at very busy areas. Otherwise, they would just be overwhelmed and people have to wait for a very long time. One more area I would like to profit from this is right here. I want people to be able to go over there. We should be able to connect this in one swoop. Yeah, I mean, that might not be the worst of ideas. What we could have done, you know, instead of connecting the district, is just have a multitude of these cable car stops, like five stops next to each other, all leading to the same area, and then people could distribute themselves amongst these stations. We have a tiny bit of space here in our farming district for another one of these, and I think I think I want to connect these two districts here as well. So what we want to do is come up here, move over there and then connect to this guy. However, now we have to lower the cables again. Okay, wonderful. I can actually already see people going in here. I think that really helped us out. Man, it is raining the entire time. I will disable you. Let's actually disable the weather. <laughs> Why is nobody? Don't tell me. Oh no. What's happening? Okay, they're moving again. Yeah, I mean, we are so busy with the cargo and everything. Let's check out the cable cars again. 320 people using this way to go to the industry. We still have approximately 650 people using that one. So that was really worth it, despite the fact I might lose a little bit on income. I mean, we're doing pretty fine with income. And we also had this station right here. Also 136 people using that one. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean we have more people using public transportation, but it might reflect in the weekly number a bit better since more people are using different means of public transportation. I would bet if all of these passengers, instead of continuing on the monorail, would be forced to go on a different monorail or a different public transportation altogether, this would inflate the number of people using public transportation in the statistics. If you get my basic gist. So yeah, kind of looking at this scenario in terms of 
series goals, I'm kind of tempted to restart this in a different manner now that we have learned lots about it. I mean, this is a chunk city anyways, thinking about it, since uh, I sacrificed a lot to achieve the goals. But maybe I have to tone it a little bit back in terms of making it look somewhat organic or realistic. Not that it is extremely realistic, but, you know, what worked best for me was a district like this and that that I've just set up with the series goal in mind and nothing else. Yeah, I mean, you have to also let me know. What, what do you think about this? Should we maybe give this another go on a different map with all of these things that we've learned in mind? And this way we might even be able to get the public transportation up to a higher number than 15,000. Or if you want, we could also just keep going until we have approximately 100,000 people and then we see how far we've gotten this number. But you can see we are now at 4,700 people using public transportation. So I think my theory is correct there and maybe we shouldn't focus too much on that number since it is not representative of the actual amount that are using public transportation. I mean, we can clearly see it's uh, quite a few people that are making use of that. Also pedestrians. I just wonder how many of them I have. But anyways, guys, I think at this point I'm gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section and then I'm gonna decide from there. But with that out of the way, have a great time and hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.